Good morning. I want to talk to you about flowers today. So let's begin. Okay. As you've seen, I have several different flowers. And there's a reason for that. Over the last couple of years, I have been playing around trying to master my baking skills. Well, come to find out, yes, having the right flour does make the world a difference. So let's go back here to our all-purpose flour. Most recipes you find will tell you you can use all-purpose flour, including for making breads and pasta. Well, all-purpose flour does not have the gluten content that you need for the fer fermentation and for things to rise. All-purpose flour is about 8% gluten. I find it's good for cookies, thickening agents, stuff like that. Yes, I've tried making pasta with it. I'm sorry, that was an epic fail. It didn't taste the same and you cannot overcook it because it'll turn to a giant clump of mush. So let's move on to bread flour. As you see, bread flour has 12.7% protein, which is your gluten. That's going to give you a nice, light, fluffy, soft bread. And the reason for that is because it has more elasticity, which means you can stretch it more to get the air incorporated in it. Now, some people have used bread flour for making pasta, which you can do, but again, you're not going to have the taste that you would if you use, we'll say, the other two flours I'm about to talk about. Sure, um, you can make a great pizza dough using bread flour because you have the higher gluten, so you can stretch it. It's going to be more forgiving. People might ask, what is Tipolo flour? Actually, it's a softer wheat that is slow grind, but it is super fine. This is good for making breads with if you want, because it does have the higher gluten content. But would it be my choice? No. But I do use it when I make pasta. And there's a reason why. Because this is a pasta flour, it stretches easier. It's a little bit more forgiving. But would I use just this? I have, but again, it did not have the taste that I was looking for or the bite. So I tried another flour. And as you see, it's durum wheat, also called semolina flour. This, you can get fine ground or a little bit coarser ground. Now, by mixing my durum and my tipolo together, I like a 50-50 mix. It works out great because not only do I have a firmer pasta, my sauce sticks to it, I have the elasticity from the softer flour, the tipolo, and it just makes a better tasting pasta. Sure, you can use just the semolina. In fact, I've done that. I've done that when I've made um, my sheets for ravioli because it, you're, it has a very high gluten content, which pasta flours generally do. So it's easier to work with. You can stretch it, work it a lot easier. In fact, you can work it multiple times 
that's how great it is. So if you're wondering why flowers are not created equal, this is why. They have different glutens, and in a sense, they have different purposes. So if you want to make cookies, quick breads, stuff like that, go with your all purpose. If you want the nice, fluffy, like bakery, like you buy in a bakery, breads, rolls, use your bread flour. And don't forget pizza crust. If you want a good pasta, use the semolina flour. And like I said, you can add the pasta flour to give it that smoother texture, which is what I do. And you will notice the difference. I know you can hear my monkeys in the background. They don't like me talking very much unless I'm talking to them. In fact, here's one right now. He's the biggest mouth. He wants my attention. Evidently, he's got to go outside or he's telling me enough. All right. Well, I hope you find this helpful and hope you enjoy the video. Let me know. Thanks.